no reason to yeah. kill your child exactly. in any circumstance. Right. There's yeah, always exactly. another solution. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to yes, figure absolutely. out if was... Doctors have said I mean, that there's no justification for abortion. 3,000 pro-life doctors signed a document saying that there is never a reason to get an abortion. I don't know. I think I just heard. What are you doing? No, then. I'll be fine. If I did that, I would fall into I'll recover. <laughs> I was going to mess with you because I didn't understand what you were doing. <laughs> That's a little camera. I just want to capture you holding your sign, big guy. You're doing great work. <laughs> Thanks for doing that. We <laughs> cry out today for the lives of the unborn, for the children that are being That car? No, the nameless, the innocent, the voiceless. Those that are not cared for. reality but in truth. We must cry out for their lives. Amen. Cry out for these children being slaughtered. That's right. Abortion must be abolished. Jesus Christ does not care. That's all we're here for. You can, you're free, I mean, you guys know you're free to stay and you're doing whatever, just the noise. That's it. Somebody, that guy walking by or somebody in a car must have come up. Yeah, I agree. Well, here's the, here's the deal. A, a sound Three ordinance... Cars? A Three? sound ordinance is a problem because there's no way we're louder than the traffic going by. Right, that's so true. You, what they're mad at is the message. Right, yeah, obviously. It has to be because it's the same amount of noise. So it's, it's yeah, it's, I don't know how they could possibly enforce a noise well, here, ordinance right now. Here's the technical way. Okay. So the noise ordinance does not cover vehicles. Uh -huh. It covers sound amplification. Really? It's specific. Oh, well, that's it's super specific. That it's makes section, sense. That makes sense. But section. And I looked it up. I've had. I've got. I'm this. sure. I mean, I mean, wow. I've looked it up. It's specifically sound amplification in a in a commercial or residential area, and I think it, it might be different depending on if it's commercial or residential. But I think the original intent behind it uh -huh. was people blasting their music yeah sure and annoying people all right i yeah that i was, agree that was the, it probably like, wasn't i'm pretty sure that was the persecution. original reason why it came up i yeah. I, I, I seriously doubt it because of this right i agree but anyway i i don't see how you really yeah we're facing it away yeah like i, I don't it's yeah garbage. it's garbage you can't hardly I, you know, when i pull up right there you can't hardly hear it how do you verify it He said, I think so. did he say it was somewhere he back said, there behind the bank? He said it was somewhere over there. A neighbor, neighbor I'm like, nearby. What and, uh, okay. are you talking about? Gesture. You can hardly even understand it from behind. I, I, yeah. Uh, 
they're they are obligated to come obligated. either way. So right. it's like he probably doesn't even care at all. Well, he, he didn't even tell us to stop. So yeah, he said you guys are totally. This is totally illegal. Just turn down a little fine. bit. So but I just thought. Just, to turn it down I mean, just stop shouting so much, Danny. You're so angry. Gosh. Well, oh, you think babies are being murdered or something? So walk up there. Anyway, just make a big noise. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You can. Are you helping to end the bullshit? Are you helping? Or are you just hurting for a every two years? And telling it good. What are you actually doing about the affliction holocaust going on? We must repent. Abortion is murder, son, and it must be abolished. The body inside, a woman's body, is not her body. When a woman gets birth, she didn't get birth to her body. When the child's body is inside her, she doesn't have four legs and four arms, two heads, four eyes. It's clearly a different person's body. And we know this from the moment of conception, that that person has its own unique DNA. So we're always be a boy or a girl, we always have such and such hair color and eye color. God made us. He weaves us, our bones and marrow and flesh together in the womb. We are precious to Him. And we rebel against Him most grievously to kill our children. How dare we kill our children? How dare we? Why have we gone cold when we should be enraged? When we should be in sin, when we should have a holy wrath against those who try to kill their children. We need to repent for If you are being led to slaughter, if your parents were paying to have you killed, would you not want an advocate? Would you not want someone there shouting, begging, and believing, begging, parents, please don't kill your children? For six days a week, babies are murdered within one mile, two different businesses in this town, and do you just tolerate it? Is Boeing's whole life every two years anything? In 50 years, the pro-life movement has not achieved the end of abortion. It is time we demand nothing less than the complete abolition and criminalization of abortion. Anyone who murders their child is a murderer. They're not unpregnant. And the pre-born neighbor that was killed, they are no less a human. They have Every right to life and protection under the law. Don't be a human rights hypocrite. Do not be a human rights hypocrite, then. Don't be complacent with abortion. Be agitated. May your apathy be met with their pictures of victimhood. I dare you to watch the video. I <laughs> There's London. For one week to act as if there's a genocide going on in your midst, in your city, on your bench. Every day you drive by, you drive by abortion. Every day you drive by abortion clinics that kill babies five times a week, right there, just down the street. And they do it for money. Yeah, they tolerate this. It's madness. It's madness, friends.